You were there, you were watching it all unfold, Bryn. Give us your thoughts, how did it go? Yeah, I mean, most interestingly, Wolf, you know, you're watching David Pecker, who was a longtime friend, uh, a confidant of Donald Trump, testifying to the sort of inner workings of how these catch and kill deals were made, how they were paid, how they were reimbursed, how the reimbursement came back or didn't come back. And Donald Trump really wasn't reacting. Quite honestly, he was sitting there at times, sometimes conferring with his attorney, but he was mostly just sitting back in his chair like this with his eyes shut, uh, sort of taking in word by word how Pecker was testifying and what he was testifying. Too. Uh, and it really kind of spoke to some of the testimony we did hear from David Pecker toward the end that prior to the campaign, uh, when those two, Donald Trump and David Pecker, would talk about those uh, stories that were out about him regarding the doorman, regarding Karen McDougal, you know, Trump said he was embarrassed and that he was worried about what his family would think. But after the campaign, it was, or after the election, he was more worried about those coming out because of how it would look for him, you know, outside of his family. So it really speaks to sort of how Donald Trump was sort of, you know, taking in all of this information. The one time that he actually did give a smirk inside the courtroom uh, was when they discussed that meeting inside Trump Tower after President Trump was President-elect Trump. Uh, and David Pecker walked into the room and he was surrounded by a number of these people who are advising uh, the now president-elect. And, and Donald Trump made the comment that this is David Pecker. He's the publisher of the National Enquirer, and he knows more stories about me than anyone else in this room. Uh, and Pecker sort of said nobody really laughed at that, but that did get a laugh from Donald Trump.